Alright, what we've done is repositioned the jib at an angle where we can get a good shot on the video here. And what you're looking at is the jib wheel assembly it makes up the uh, lifting component of the jib itself with the winch line and the shiv wheels. In order to adapt the material handler truck for lifting conductors for either single or three phase, the first thing we've got to do is remove the shiv wheel assembly. truck, this happens to be a Tico brand, it's got a square jib, which is a 4x4 four four jib, we've got to be able to adapt that truck from square to round. All of our accessories, lift arm components, set up for 3 inch diameter. So by adapting square to round, we can adapt our different attachments to this jib. Install the square adapter onto the square jib, which is upset on the top end to three inch, so it will accept all the accessories that we show in the catalog. What I have here is a single phase conductor lift head. We we're going to work a single phase. What I would do would be to install this onto this adapter so that we can pick up and lift and maneuver single conductors. The particular job we're going to do today is to change out a three-phase pull. So on the three-phase installation, we're going to adapt this same jib to a three-phase lift arm. mention at this time there are several truck manufacturers in the business make material handling trucks some of the most popular being the, the Tico, the Altec, the High Ranger, the Telelect, the Asplund. And I believe that pretty well covers the majority of them. There are some others in the industry. Some of them have round jibs versus square we make the round jib adapters to adapt all of our lift arm components and single conductor lift heads. What we'd like to show you at this time is the three phase lift arm that's pre-assembled. The same adapter that we've installed on the jib will accept the lift arm by pinning this adapter on the jib. And we'll have to extend the jib to rig up the arm. assembly on the truck with a single conductor lift head assembly mounted to the jib. Uh, what we thought we would do while we've got this set up is go through a, an insulator change on a outside conductor utilizing the jib and the four-way roller head. To show you how this jib works, and the jib's very similar, as I mentioned earlier, you can pull this pin get the length on the jib and it also works hydraulically as far as up and down. Okay, for this particular job we've already untied and lowered the neutral so it's out of the work area. 
we're going to go up and proceed to untie the conductor and position it where we can change out the insulator. see here is the uh, neutral has been disconnected. They're positioning the bucket and the jib arm to go in and take out the phase using the uh, single phase multi-roller head. There the phase has been captured in the four-way roller head. All right, now we'll proceed to untie the phase. Yeah, it should be. Okay, it'll clear. Okay, now the phase has been disconnected. I'm going to uh, remove the insulator. And replace it. are being placed on the outside phase which has been untied which is being untied is free. And the hose is slid into place. Okay, 
up to this point we've uh, basically shown the single phase adapter and how that would be applied on a material handler for lifting or positioning a single conductor. Now what we've done is we've removed the single conductor lift head, we've rubbered up all three phases, untied them, put them down on the cross arm, we've come down and assembled and installed the three phase lift arm on the, on the jib of the material handler. As you can see here we've installed a square jib brace adapter, three phase lift arm we adapted to the to the square jib adapter for the top end, we've installed a brace, three conductor holders. So then the next maneuver will be to go up, pick up all three conductors, move them out of the way so we can dig the hole and, and install the new pole. Now we are positioning the mass into place releasing the latches on the multi-roller conductor holders. As we see here, the mass is at a slight angle. At this time, that will work out fine, allowing us to pick up one phase and still obtain more clearance on the other side as we bring the other phases in. is now controlled in the roller head. Now for the center phase. And now the other outside phase is being locked into place. At this point, now the mass can be repositioned and the material handler taking up so we can obtain the proper clearance for the pole change out.
this point, the new pole is being set into place. Now that our pole has been properly set, into position. We will now reposition the arm. Boom, bringing in the arm and the conductors. Unhooking the phases and re-tying them in. mass is in position, the first conductor being re released from the conductor holder. center phase is being released. And the third phase has now been released from the arm. This point Rotate our mast so it will not interfere and go up and re tie the conductors at this point. Now as you can see, the brace arm, brace pull from the arm has been disconnected so that the arm will not interfere as we tie in the conductors.
Now the mast has been repositioned to tie in the last phase. Now the last conductor has been tied into place. We will remove the rubber hoses and we will now bring the neutral back up in position and the job be the pole change out will be complete. All right, we've made a effort to uh, show you the application of the material handling truck for both single and three phase lifting applications. We hope you've learned something uh, by watching the, the video which would show you basically what a material handler truck does and the type of equipment that we can provide in order to adapt to those trucks so that the utility can utilize them to the fullest extent. Again, as we mentioned earlier, the amount of money that a utility spends for, a, for just a plain man-lifting bucket truck today, when they spend a little more money, they buy the material handling type truck, they can use that for other applications besides putting a man into position.